Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome to the second edition of the boxes. I just opened two and that video will have probably went up the day before or two days before this video goes up. So that video will have went, probably went up on Wednesday night. So this probably won't go up till Friday, but I'm taping it now. So you're going to see me looking tie dyed. But anyway, y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. I found these boxes. They're marked craft boxes or like, um, they're little doodad boxes. And I did get one full of rad bunnies, Easter bunnies and stuff. And I got, um, some little craft stuff, a couple of pieces, nothing exciting out of the other box. But it was, you know, it was fun. I went looking for jewelry. They didn't have any. So I wound up picking up these boxes. You know, I like to do my mystery jewelry boxes or bags or, or jars. Um, but they, lately they've been horrible in this area. So I'm getting ready to dig into this now. And we're going to go through it and see what's in here. And see what's shaking, bacon. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm going to be doing a couple sales, live sales on the channel. And I'm also going to be list, listing stuff. So I got to get all of that ready for y'all and I'll be posting it. I got a new computer the other day yesterday and i also bought a new computer desk because i'm gonna set up to do what i need to do and get it done right i can't keep doing what i'm doing because with the cell phones it's just not working anymore so i had to get i actually brought a desktop and i brought a desk and i'm gonna make the guest guest room half guest room half office for what i'm doing for listing this stuff and for, for editing my youtube videos and all of that so that's going down over the next couple days but anyway, I got a belt buckle, and this is Remington Derringer, 1867 by Mattel. Okay, so it's a kid's belt. Yeah. Looks like a belt buckle. And then I got that. Yeah. See the little hoop right there? I'm assuming. I don't know what it is, y'all. It went to something. I don't know. But anyway, then I got this. It's a little angel. Looks like it's holding a Christmas ornament. This looks like it goes on a Christmas tree or something. Or for Christmas. See, it's clear. So, I don't know if she's an No, she's not an angel. She's just a... Y'all, I don't know what she is. She don't have no wings. Oh, her wings broke off. She did have wings. Okay. Yeah. Her wings are gone. Okay. Oh, this is cute. This says, Mary... And it has some, something else here. I got to look and see what this is. But it says Mary. It's really fine. And it's kind of just pressed in. I know you're not going to be able to see it. Something there. It says something. And I will find out later. I want to say it says Hallmark. I want to say that it says Hallmark. But I'll find out. This is You're the Sweetest Friend. And it has a little um, poem in here for your friend. This is Precious Moments. You know what? This might be Precious Moments or Hallmark. I don't know. I'll see. But this is Precious Moments. A little frame. And then, okay, this looks, oh, this is vintage. It appears. I don't know much about it, so I'm not going to call it what I, you know. This is a ceramic dial. Look at that. Look at her legs. Right? Her legs move. Her arms move, and then she has on this little dress, and look at her little face. Her little paint is messed up on her hair, but other than that, she's in pretty good condition. And her little dress, oh, look at her. This has to be vintage. i got to do some research on this. Let me sit this over here. And then I have, this is... Made in Occupied Japan. Oh, she's cute. Is she cute or what? Look at the little duck. Oh, here she is on the back. It says Made in Occupied Japan. So that, I'm going to have to check into that too. Let me sit this over here in my check pile. Um, this is... Lanceline, Royal Copenhagen. 
Denmark. Got to check that out, too. See, a man sitting on a rock. And some boats. You know I got to check that out. Oh, he's cute. This is 1979 Mother's Day. And I'm trying to see if I can see. This is by... Hmm. Oh, I can't tell. L. What does that say, y'all? I'm going to have to look better. But it's by somebody with an L. So sometimes you can get a couple dollars for these little things, too. So this box is making up for the what I didn't get in the other boxes. All right, let's see. This is by Maiden Occupied Japan, too. Oh, and this, too. Oh, my. Look. Are these salt and pepper shakers? No. No, they're just little statues. So it's a woman and a man. And it's the blue and white. They appear, I don't know what, if they appear to be what nationality. So we got three pieces made in Occupy Japan. This is made in Occupy Japan. I'm trying to see if I can find the top to it. Well, I will, I'll see if I find it. But it's a little teapot. And again, same stamp. And what are these? Oh, this is a little knick-knacky thingy. And this is by... Nobody. Um, Mom, you're special. Isn't that cute? And then you take the lid off. Little container. Okay, what is this? This is made in occupied Japan, but it has red. Oh, look at that. It's a pitcher. A little creamer. I don't I don't it's too small for a creamer. Look at that. And look at the hole. That's cute. Oh, here's the and the wings for this little angel. She could it might be able to be glued back on. It's just a Christmas ornament. See her little wings. It goes like that on the her back. So I can glue that back on. Okay. Oh, here's the little panties for the little doll. The one I said was vintage. Here's the little panties. Panties. Look. The bottoms. Let's call it that. Oh, man. So cute. Now she's fully clothed. Okay. And then we have these, which appear to be four, I mean, HX25, some numbers on here. I gotta look those up and see. These are by, it has a stamp here, G O E B E L, Germany. Goebel. We got to check you out, Goble, and see what you are. Look at that. Little baby angels. Appears to be a girl and a boy. One's paying the, playing the uh, violin thing, and one's playing a drum. Okay. This box ain't too bad, y'all. Okay, this is made in Occupy Japan. Look, y'all. Cute. Little doodads. This one's more exciting. I probably should put this one up first, but I'll, I'll put the other one up. Oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Wait till y'all see this. Hold up. 
We got the piano that goes to it. Made in Occupy Japan. The piano. What else we got? And we have the love seat with the two chairs. Oh, this one's broke right on the edge, so the love seat devalues it. But that's all right, because you don't have to have it all. Two chairs and the piano. The piano is not broke, the, or the chair. So the uh, uh, love seat in for free. Okay. Oh, this is glass. It's a bottle stopper. Ain't that pretty? I'm not sure if this is crystal or not. I'm not sure. It looks now. I see the lines in it. No, it's not. I see. You see where the it was uh, molded. That's pretty though. It's a bottle stop. Uh oh. I see where it went. Look at that. Here's a perfume bottle. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? You know that's staying in my collection. Sorry. That is just too cute. Oh my. Oh my word. This perfume bottle. Look at the flower. Look at it. Oh my goodness. It doesn't say, oh wait a minute, it does say something. It says what? I R I C E. Iris. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. I'll search. Look. And then this goes on here and it presses and it shoots out. Is that gorgeous? It's like a lavender purpley and a purple flower on top. My collection of perfume. You know, I collect, I told y'all before, I collect the uh, vintage perfume bottles. This is a whistle, ceramic whistle, hand painted, really pretty, no markings, but a whistle. You see that? But, oh yeah, it has the hole at the top for the sound to come out. So yeah, this is a working whistle probably. Um, here is a clay angel ready to be painted. That's good for crafting. Or you can just leave it like it is. And it sits on like something. You see? It has a little sitting. Yeah, cute. On a shelf or something. Oh, and then we have these made in Occupy Japan. This one. Not these, but only see one. So I got a bunch of made in Occupy Japan porcelain pieces. So this is a man playing a, um, some type of a violin or a guitar or something, banjo or not banjo. This is uh, Yesterday's Child and it is edition 12 something, 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 something certified by somebody, Whitney and Wilson Tea Party, 1997. The Boyd's Collection. So, I gotta look that one up. Look, Teddy Bear and the girl with the teapot sitting on... Uh, oh, the bear and the girls having tea. And here's a little teacup right there. Really nice. Nicely made. Cute. That's marked up and everything. Look at that. Y'all see the writing and everything? I'll check that one out. And then, here's another little statue. Two people, not marked. No, not marked at all. And then we have this. Oh, this is pretty. And this isn't marked. Another cherub. And then we have another one of these that is by Goebel, G-O-E-B-E-L, um, Germany. So we got three of these. This one, this one, and this one. Are these two the same? No, one's playing the, har um, not harmonica, but what's that? That thing. And then one's pan, playing something else. They're playing th three different things. And then the last thing we have in here is another tin. Something you could put, make uh, your makeup or something. Make some lip gloss or something and put it in there. 
or some um, liquid, I mean, um, solid perfume to rub it on. Yeah, that was not bad. This box cost me, I don't know if I told y'all in the beginning, I did say it in the other video. This box was $6.99 and all of that made in Occupy Japan, I know I could get more than $6.99. So, I made my money back for all the boxes because one I paid $3.99 for and one and two I paid $6.99 for. So, I could get all of it back for that. But anyway, look forward to uh, seeing these stuff up, these pieces up for sale. Today, I went out shopping to look for resale stuff. Um, I said, I'm going to take out a couple bucks. I'm going to buy some stuff and see if I can do what I do resale-wise on it. So, anyway, I'm not mad at that. I got a lot of nice pieces that I know could go and they're easy shippable easily shippable easily shippable now out of the boxes the three boxes that i got today the one i just opened was the best so if you didn't see the video go check it out on um that will have went up a day or two prior to this one but anyway y'all and i actually i'll link it because it'll have already be up so i'll link it in the video in the description below i got these at a local thrift store here and they weren't bad i'm not mad at it but anyway y'all all right, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see y'all soon. I do have a thrift haul. I do have a thrift haul. And that'll be going up probably over the weekend, like maybe Sunday, Monday, uh, because I'm going to put these up first. And today's Wednesday. I'm not putting them up back to back. So, all right, y'all. I'm talking to myself. I'm going to go eat. I got some Jolly Bees. I got chicken. And I got the noodles, that noodle stuff. It's not the spaghetti, but I got the noodle stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm hungry. I'm going to go heat that up. I'm going to eat, and I will chit-chat with y'all later. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any information on any of those things you saw, um, because I'm going to be researching them, and I'll be checking back with the comments to see. All right, y'all. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.